Welcome everybody to Georgie Plays. Life is strange. Well, the first episode, so... I know somebody who's a big fan of the Life is Strange series, and today, um... Well, today the first episode, um, became free because it's like live on Linux and Mac or something. Anyway, um... Yeah. I don't have any of the other episodes, but... I'm just gonna do the first episode. I don't know how long the first episode takes. I'm actually going to Google that, but it probably will not be 20 minutes or anything. But Life is Strange is a story that's based on a game that features player choice, the con consequences in all your game, blah blah blah. Basically, Telltale games, yes. It's about two hours, so it'll be like what? Or like three hours, that will be like six six episodes. Where am I? What's happening? This is it loud? I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. Yes. I hope. Please let me make it there. Uh, I want to be a bit lighter for YouTube. Advanced video. Detail mode. We can go high, mate. Oh, look at this. So beautiful. Um. Oh, you... Oh, I was about to say, why can't I walk with WASD, but I can. I'm actually going to lower the audio a little bit. And that's just because, uh, looking at OBS, the game is around the sound of my voice, which is a little bit... I was just looking at, just like some kind of, like, stickers on my back, and I was looking at it. Taking a little screenshot of that for. Oh, I thought it was a human lag. That's gonna be probably the top nail. If it's not, then start screaming at me. Oh, BFF. Oh, there's the lighthouse. Can I run? I wanna run. It's the tornado. It's not that big. Don't start crying, little babe. My exact same reaction. Well, there goes your lighthouse plan. That was so surreal. Mostly called the film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those... Look, why? Oh, look. She saw him Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me she now. Saw humanity is tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame anyone. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. gift. Oh, lovely. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. 
I actually never taken a single selfie in my entire life, but oh no, that's actually that's not true. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Hmm. Um, you either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert hmm. Cornelius. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. Upgrade. I like it. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. No, you don't. <sighs> okay, so... No book. Just look it up. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she? I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. <laughs> I like this writing. Can I like or order like six thousand of them? No. Okay. Read. With all the speed and power um, expected from a new greenlit, the Glit uh, 64 is back at it with expanded features and. Manageability. It shoots what you want, where you want, straight onto the camera. GPEG images already have superb quality, including a new level of depth, sharpness, and um, that word I can't read for some reason. Malleability. I actually have never seen that word in my life. Etchy desk. Can I take a photo of her ass? Oh, I actually just got an uh, achievement. Mark, Mac, Macro Ice? No, Marco? Macro Ice. Taking an optional photo in episode one. Okay. Powerball. Look. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Dear Kitty, I love your porn video. XOXO Blackhawk Academy? I think. Hi, Kitty. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Looks hmm. like somebody was already working on this. Cool. This is some photoshopping I can't. Can I talk? Can I speak to Katie Let's some more? Talk later, Max. Okay. So the paper ball that I don't want to see anymore. Um. Can I like? Oh. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Hello. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson. Can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Fuck. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 blah. right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images. Do I have a pyromancy flame? You envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Next, so I'll say, yeah, camera. 
Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that. Boy. That's a big ass camera. He probably paid twenty grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I, even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Wow. TV. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to answer. Every day here I'll find out as to win. I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. We're in the past, baby. So yes, I'm going to be examining and looking at shit as much as I can. You didn't tell me how cute I look yet. I was about to. I'm not paying a you Welcome always to the real world. Hey, it's Oprah Winfrey. She plays it so I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. Oh. And then she. Okay, so she says she needs to go to the bathroom and she goes list some music against the wall. Girl, if you need to go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom. Some good music though. Alright, we can go. That's strange. Hey, Evan. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Guy. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I like how she's literally only locker, the only red one in this like establishment. This poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal gorgeous cheerleader. They, I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I can't lead to this to Logan. No? Okay. It looks like she's been gone for months. Oh. Rachel Amber. What would happen if you called this um, number? They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. Aww. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. Hey, Oprah. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Nerd alert. This poster has Warren written all over it. <laughs> so what's this Vortex Club all about? Also, we finally reached the bathroom after like three minutes. It's empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. This is a dirty ass fucking bathroom. Can we just. Yeah, right? Um, no, no, no. 
I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? She got damn bags under her eyes though. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. You have a gift. That's a nice ass picture though. I don't want to do the editing. Just okay, do the you sound yourself. Off like this every day. We look at. Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Oh, God. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. Oh, Lord. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo. Poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! <gasps> Whoa. What the fuck? Excuse me? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Like we was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. I'm actually being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now. Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot believe this. Captured the human condition in black and white. I can. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? Why harvest? I did now, it. Can you I actually did it. Oh wow. Who perfectly captured the time machine. Anybody? Max, Bueller? don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hope. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Oh no, you don't say. It's real. I can tell. Your generation. So I can go back in time. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. Fuck. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows this? Jefferson wants to keep me you after class. And I need time to save that girl. A 
process to give portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Max, since you've captured our interest in clear... This is a really cool mechanic, by the way. Can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Damn it. <laughs> and guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework. Let's do this. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time, waiting for the elusive... Right moment. moment, yeah. Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Life is strange, people. Go on. Don't let me stop you. Oh, I'm gonna get that right moment right now. Press control to quickly and do your previous actions. Even if you're submitting your photo for the... Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future... I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I like this mechanic. Okay, so can we actually go all the way? That's actually pressing me. That looks so weird on the video. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Let's do this. Also, those shoes, though. Every step. I washed my face. I shook my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. And then. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Well, sir, it's happening again. I need a hammer to break it open. Hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Shit. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Don't... Tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Okay. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. Well, it sure is. 
I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or you hide <laughs> something. Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. <laughs> Act. Let's talk to the director, shall we? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is... serious charge. I'll look into the matter first. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Carfield. The second interaction will have consequences. You can rewind to change. Now. Nah. Can I rewind and change my story? Maybe. No, you know what? No. No, I'm gonna keep this. I like how she runs, by the way. It's really cute. Now, where's the door I'm supposed to go out to? Don't wander around here. Get on outside. Yes, mister. Oh, left mouse button to go to the main campus. Did not see that. I like how nobody gave a single shit about firing a fire alarm all the time. What? <laughs> Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Well, uh, let me actually miss my poster. I would so be there if a Sasquatch actually did battle a Razorback. What's a Razorback, though? Well, um, I'm actually going to leave it off for the first episode. If you enjoyed, then please feel free to hit the like button for more Live is Strange. I'll probably do the first full uh, uh, episode of this game. Probably recording the rest tomorrow. I did about half an hour right now, so... Yeah, I think that's good for like the first episode. And people said the game was like three hours long or well the first episode, so... Meaning that I can get about six half-hour episodes out of it, which will be good for almost a week, so... 
I'll be recording this fully and then return back to Party Hard. So if you enjoy Party Hard, it shall be back sooning, sooning, soonish, or yeah, probably end of this week, probably on Sunday. Well, again, if you enjoyed, please consider hitting the like button and subscribe for more because it really helps me out a lot. I'm almost at 60 subscribers with uh, two left to be filled in. Draggy out.